Hey guys, what's happening? You know, a lot of the time what I find is adults tell people what to do and what to believe. I view that as our culture. And if you look at the first four letters of culture, you get a word called cult. So parents, let me give you some advice. Adults, bigger kids that want to be in a box that don't want to connect that you know, that maybe can't be vulnerable or open. You know, in America, we tell men to suck it up, be tough, and don't cry. And then we wonder why um, we, as bigger kids, don't actually have playful side of us, don't have a vulnerable side, can't connect, don't really care about other people. We care more about our ego and, and what's going on. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is Sebastian. He's a freaking rock star in our school. Hey uh, MLMPI Prep Academy in Liberty City. Welcome to Miami. Whatever comes to my mind at that moment. I wanted to get some like direction or advice from Sebastian because Sebastian is one of our juniors. He's a rock star. Um, and I think that a lot of people could grow uh, from, you know, maybe helping somebody in your life, whether big kid or small kid create value. So before you got to MLMP prep, you went through some challenges of, of your own, but we don't need to talk about that necessarily. But what gave you the value in your life? Like when did you start getting who you were? Basically when I got kicked out and I was like reflecting on life and I was like, what should I do? Basically. And then, so the first week when I got kicked out I basically went to my life my power and we had speakers coming in and I was like what did they do inside of school and I didn't know like so I was just basically like I like it so I started I, I like proceeded going to my life my power and so they were basically teaching me like what I could become in life and like if I want to do something, I strive and I go for it. So basically, that's really what my life, my power has to offer. But there's more, but you're gonna have to like look into that. <laughs> he's like he's like baiting you guys. So let me ask you: Did you show up to school your old your past school on time all the time? No. Do you show up to my life, my power, preparatory academy on time? Yeah. So. The value, guys, isn't that we're, so I, I went a little deeper with Sebastian Day. It isn't the value that we brought speakers in. It's the value, from my opinion, it, it was your interpretation of, wow, people, like, I can actually become this. It's like you start seeing it, so you can, you can start believing it. Because if you can't see it, you can't be it, from my opinion. Yeah, like, basically, the other day, we had, a, we had to write our goals down on this, on this, on this board, right? So we wrote our goals down. Basically, my job, my my goal was to get a job. And the next day, I got the job because Daniel here, he helped me. But it's not only to help the Daniel. You got you got to go yourself, and you got to go look for a job. You can't just depend on other people to like try to like you know help you get the job. You gotta go make you, make sure you show your face and get the job yourself. You know. I think, I think my job with you guys at the school and with the other students around the country is to open your eyes to what's possible because he did a resume, he has a LinkedIn account, he's got a bio, we just did headshots, we just did video interview. Like all our students at MLMPI Prep, they're all getting, like their, by their senior year, they'll all have websites, they'll have a whole package, a whole branding package. No other school in the country does that kind of stuff. And... Next year, actually, we just launched our second school and got our first student in our second school today. And we're launching two more schools this year. So, did you ever notice my fingers are crooked? At the end of the day, you guys, you know, if you want to add value, show people it's possible for them. Because it's not about what's, what, what's possible for me. I mean, I, I transitioned my life from, you know, being pissed off, being angry, 
like check out my podcast, check out my my TED talk. I, I talk about this stuff a lot, but it was transforming to become the best version of myself for my vision and purpose. I wasn't living in my, before I was living in my circumstances and my interpretations were off and my feelings, I was all pissed off because I accepted the bullying. I accepted people's pain and I interpreted that I was bad or wrong. I believe Sebastian, Jade, like all our students are, are three main things. They're, they're perfect, whole and complete. They just haven't been able to find it yet. They, they, it's, a, it's like a, it's like a supercomputer, but the, the AI hasn't been able to target that piece of it. And when they start seeing it, they can run. I mean, he, he said he wanted a job, and I said one month goals this month, and he goes, I'm gonna get a job, and the next day he had a job. So when you put your mind to something, you can create results. But it's, it's not just the vision. There's five points. Vision is one. The purpose is he wants to make money, so he can you know, get what he wants so he can provide for family, so he can pay for things. Next one is goals. He, he went out there and did it. He got a resume, he did a LinkedIn account. We've been, we've been having a lot of speakers come in. They've been meeting a lot of different people. So it's getting them out there and, and connecting them. So they actually are more confident and, and uh, you know, they, they know how to speak, shake hands. Like he's a rock star at that. And then the last two are the hardest ones, it's building your team, which we're giving them a team. Like today, he was hanging out with the mayor, he was hanging out with the US Congresswoman, he was hanging out with a bunch of different people, but it's the team in life, and the second one is, and the last one is the hardest, it's commitment. Follow through. You guys have the choice every day to follow through with what you want or don't follow through, but I'm gonna tell you one thing, and I'll end it on this. You're always committed to something. You will always be committed to something. You'll be committed to your commitments to yourself, or you'll be committed to things that you're not necessarily really wanting in life. But you commit to them because maybe it's easier, it's more comfortable, it feels good, I don't have to go out of my box, I don't have to feel nervous. Like you could have gotten a job a year ago. Yeah. Why not? I didn't, I didn't go and I, I didn't strive for it. I was just basically just sitting on, just, just sitting down not doing what I was supposed to do. Because it's easier, right? Yeah. You're like, whatever, I'll get to it later. It's a, it's a law of attraction. Like, basically you set your mind to it, you envision it, and you go do it. So, you guys take that to heart because it's not just, this stuff isn't, these law of attraction, that's just not with kids, that's with everybody. Like, he's talking about stuff, super fundamental, basic stuff that most people don't have in their life or they don't understand. So five things again, mission, vision, purpose, team commitment. Think about those five things and what you want to create. Commit to your commit to your creations of your vision and your purpose and follow through. I'm Daniel Pewter. Check out Significance Breed Success Podcast or come check out Sebastian at MLMPI Prep Academy in Liberty City. Come speak to our kids. Come impact them. And if you want me to come to your school, I would love to. Anything else? That's it. Have a great day. I, say your name. I, Daniel Pewter. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect,